So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to withdraw from the GeekPay app. I've already made a video on how to do this, but that's with the website. But since Greg created their app, I'm going to show you how to use it to withdraw. After doing the withdrawal part, then I'm going to be giving my overall review about the app. So let's begin. So this is the app on the Play Store. I'm going to leave a link in the description. When you get here, you just click install. This is for Android only. If you are using iOS, which is iPhones, then just go to the Grey website. You're going to see the Apple logo there. Just click it and it should take you to the App Store. So I'm going to open it. And after it is fully opened, I'll click log into your account. And then I'll enter my email and password. After doing that, tap login. So it has successfully logged me in. And as you can see, I have $22. Now this was money sent by Amazon. I have affiliate products on my website, which earn me money from time to time. I no longer work on the websites. That's why the money has been dropping. I used to make like $100 per month, but now it's just less than that, a lot less. But anyways, now I'm going to withdraw this money so you can see. So to know the exchange rates, you can tap here. And uh, this is the buying rates, or these are the buying rates, and these are the selling rates. Now, in GeekPay is buying from me, so this is going to be the rates per dollar. So for each dollar, I should be getting around 740 Naira. But if I wanted to buy from them, then it would be around 772 Naira. So after getting the buying rates, the next thing you want to do is to connect your bank account. That is where the money is going to get sent to after you have converted it to Naira. So you want to come up here to your profile icon, you tap it, and then you tap beneficiaries. I have already connected my account using the website, but if you want to, you just need to come here and tap add beneficiary. So you tap bank transfer, then you select your currency, which is Naira, and you select your country. I don't know why they're asking for the country after selecting the currency. But uh, yeah, you just come here, you enter local bank account, tap person if you have a personal account you enter person if you have a business account then you enter business or you tap business so i'm going to tap person because that's kind of account i have so when it comes to bank name this is one of the places where you have issues because if you tap here you're not going to be seeing a list of banks at least on my phone i can't see any bank but if you tap anywhere see a bank has been selected i can tap it again and maybe tap the bottom you see a bank has been selected so this is just one of the issues of the app right now but hopefully they will fix it in the future so what you want to do is just type the name of your bank let's say united bank for africa which is uba and after typing it it should be the first bank that should appear if the list was visible so i'm just going to tap the invisible list as you can see i have uh, selected united bank for africa so that's just how it is. Then next, you enter your account number. So let me just enter my account number. After that, it's going to get your name. And uh, after getting your name, you just need to tap add beneficiary. And that's all. So that is how you add your bank details. So after adding your bank details, you come back to your account where the money is. And then you tap convert. Now we want to switch from USD to Naira. So we just enter the amount. And you can see over here that it says I have 22.17, but with the app, you will not be able to enter decimal places. So I can only enter 22. You can see 22. If I try to add points, there is no points. So I'm just going to let go of that 0.17. And uh, after doing their conversion, it says I'm going to make 16,000 Naira. So that's okay. I'll just tap next. So after doing that, it's going to show me the final outcome. All I have to do is just tap convert money. Uh, as you can see, it says conversion successful. Your $22 currency conversion was successful. So I'll tap home. So it took about two minutes for the money to get converted. Even though it said it was converted, I came here and I had to wait until this one changed to 0.17. So for you, it may change quickly, but uh, if it doesn't, just wait for a few minutes. So after that, you tap here. And then you tap Nigerian Naira. And from here, you tap send money. So next, you tap bank transfer. And then you can select the account that you added. So I'm going to be sending it to my PiggyVest account. So just tap here. And then I'm going to enter the amount that I wish to send. And as you can see, I still can't add decimal places, even when I'm trying to transfer Naira out of the account. But it's no big deal. All I have to do now is just tap next. And uh, this is the summary. The fee is 15 Naira, so I'm going to receive 16,449 Naira. 
well, I wish there was just one error added so I can just get 15 error. But it's no big deal. I'll tap send money and then I'll enter my password. Well, I can also enter my fingerprint. So I'll tap here and uh, it says transfer successful. The money is going to be sent to my account. Well, I'm sure the money is going to eventually get to my account. But for now, I'm just going to tap home. And uh, as you can see, it's still saying I have 22. Oh, God. But, well, while I wait for the money, let me just give you an overview about the app from my experience. I do not like it compared to the website and I would not recommend using it for now. Maybe in the future, they are going to optimize the app so that it works better. But for now, I do not recommend using the app. So just keep using the website. If you want to know how to use the website to withdraw, I'll leave a link to the video that I've made how to withdraw from GeekPay. But uh, yeah, that's how I do it. So I'm going to leave a screenshot of when the money comes so that uh, you guys will know. So if you have any questions regarding the process or your experience with GeekPay, you can always leave them in the comments. And uh, yeah, I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Take care and bye-bye.